Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. Okay, our educational website resource that we will be providing for you today is teacher.desmos.com. And there is a desmos.com that has some free activities that students can just play around with to engage in uh, various activities. Um, but if you set up a teacher.desmos.com account, there will be a class code that students are able to create an account and link specifically to your classroom tasks and activity that, that you would like to assign. So teacherdesmos.com is a collection of free digital math activities. And most of these activities are going to provide uh, engagement with students in mathematically rich tasks. So as you can see on the left-hand side, there is a collection of various topics, algebra, uh, pre-algebra, calculus, and there's a few geometry, I believe, on here, as well as a few middle school activities. So as you have a topic or a standard that you're thinking about teaching, if you just want to go into the search bar and specifically type in the standard or uh, task that you think would align to that curriculum that you are focusing on for the week, there are some really great activities in here. So if we just go back to the home page, we're going to take a look at one of these and we'll start with linear systems because that's one of my favorite topics, especially at the lower high school level because a lot of students do not understand how there can be a solution to two uh, systems of linear equations. So that's one of my favorite topics and it really has a great prior knowledge engagement in the actual activity. So we'll go ahead and select solutions of systems of linear equations. As you enter here, you can see create the class code. The students simply enter the class code and it will automatically link to the assignment that you have provided and collect the data from how they do. So, as we take a look at those linear systems, it says that there are actually eight activities. Here's what the student preview is going to look like. So what's really nice about some of the problems that the students will see on their screen is engaging some of the prior knowledge that is uh, needed for them to understand this overall concept of systems of equations and solutions of linear equations. So as you can see, putting a point on the line, type a ordered pair and put it on the line as you 
look here, you have 09 as a potential solution. Once they share with class, there will be three other responses that show up, uh, sample responses there, as well as the teacher is able to indicate which one or include any one that is incorrect and kind of monitor that. As you move on to the second one, find a solution of the equation by finding an order pair. So here, again, some of the prerequisite language using substitution. So if you plug in zero or substitute zero for x, y would equal two. So the ordered pair would be zero, two. Some of these would be great just for an example to walk through the students and various uh, entry points for understanding different types of problems within equations or linear equations. So looking here, would the, would the point fit? So here we see the coordinate zero, two. Uh, we just noted if we plug in zero for x, y would equal two. So is that order pair correct? And how do you know? Yes, it is. And then they would explain, this is a great extension uh, for extended responses, for example, in typing out using substitution, x equals zero, zero plus two, equals two. So y would equal two. The order pair would be zero comma two, for example, as uh, explanation of their thinking. As we move on, what does the solution mean? If we say two five, they need to be able to identify x equals two and y equals five. So if I plug that in, if I substitute two for x, two times two is four, four plus three is seven. So would two, when I plug in two, did I get seven? No. So how could you check the claim? Again, using substitution. So they would explain that. And what's nice about this is you see the posts really analyzing the explanations and presenting them to the class for which one makes the most sense, which one gives the most thorough explanation in detail. This is an awesome way for students to develop a deeper understanding. As you build upon each one of these skills, they are now looking at two separate lines and does the order pair of a solution to the linear equation describe both of these lines? So negative four, one. Is there an order pair that describes both? So this is different terminology, basically asking what is the solution of these two lines? Where you see this intersection, negative four, one is the order pair that is going to fit both of these equations or both of these lines. Okay, now you're explaining why. Why does negative four, one? fit both of the lines because it's where it intersects. That's where the solution, that is where both of these lines meet. As you move on, again, two equations, taking a look at one, substitution, plugging in y equals x plus one on this side or substitution, or you can use elimination. So eliminating the x's gives you y equals six. So looking at these two equations, what is happening? Okay, graphing of the systems. Now looking at the solution again, the ordered pair does it fit in Y? As you can see, these are going to continue to build upon each other, get a little more complex, help them understand at a deeper level, systems of equation and this topic. It gives you various representations, parallel lines. This is not going to have a solution. Infinite solutions, for example, is the extension that's going to uh, get into uh, your next topic in standard. So as you take a look at these, again, this is an awesome reference for students to build upon prior knowledge and really get into deeper thinking and understanding of a concept as these uh, problems and activities build upon each other. So this is an awesome website. I would really encourage all teachers to utilize this within their classroom, even if it's, you know, once a week. It's a great opportunity for kids to engage. 
So teacherdesmos.com. Hope you enjoyed our web resource for today. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you soon.